99 seconds is a good sound bite. 99 seconds is something people can grab, they can hold on to, but it's so hard for them to distill it. Why do you come up with 99 seconds? First of all, why did you pick that number? Well, that one actually picked me. So it started when I realized I could start to pitch coach and I became, I, I'm standing in the Hard Rock Cafe. It's January, it's raining and it's at an event called Founders Live. I'm watching the same thing that I'd seen at Seattle. You problem, solution, you know, and I was just like, oh. I tapped the shoulder of the CEO of the event and I said, hi, I'm a pitch coach. And he said, give me your card right now. <laughs> And he was doing 99 second pitches and I became his Seattle pitch coach. So if you go to Founders Live Seattle in anything on YouTube, you'll see these, these entrepreneurs standing up in front of an audience and in 99 seconds, they're going to show us how they can change the world. And they do it. We do a story, which is showing the problem with characters. We do the solution, which is them. They can wear a cape, come in and solve the problem. They can drop the data about their go-to-market, their accolades, their team, and their ask. It's all done in 99 seconds. And their slides are also just as scrutinized. So it's not just your words, but your slides and presentations are also to back up your story. And many times that's where I see a lot of derailing of the stories. But the speaker might be really good, but then they throw a slide up and there's like 80 things on it. And what you're doing as the presenter and presenter and storyteller are like interchangeable to me. As the storyteller, when you put a slide up and you've got the kitchen sink in it, you have just told your audience, stop listening to me, please.